The tail was a very useful survival tool down here. Down here, fangs and, and claws were good. But here, the tail, here, the mind. And the mind is a tool to look or notice the similarities and differences in things and in circumstances. Not to just react, but to decide. Okay? To decide. Much more powerful tool for survival. Then, 102,000 years ago, we started another cycle. The cultural cycle. This too, this cultural cycle, had its own brand of consciousness. And this brand of consciousness was reasons. Now, it started off in the caves, way back here, 102,000 years ago. People huddled around the fire in front of the cave. And one guy, who eventually would become called the shaman, he came up with the reasons for things. He came up with the reason for rain, the reason for stars, the reason for the moon, <clears throat> the reason for fire. He had the reasons. If you really, really look at it, the basis of culture is shared reasons. Like an Islamic person, the reason he lives is for Allah. A Christian, he lives for Christ. That's his reason. The main, the, the, the foundation of all cultures is shared reasons for things. And what happened here is these cycles, each one of these different divisions, each of them being almost, I'm rounding it up, but they're almost 8,000 years for each one of these days or nights. What happened way over here 8,000 years ago, we developed agriculture. Agriculture. Well, there have been lots of them, actually, <laughs> along the way. So, here we are, next cycle. 3115 BC is when this one started. It's called the National Cycle. Because the, most, the modern nation was produced from this consciousness. Each one of these steps or stages is 397, almost 400 years. 3115 BC, by the way, is when we learn to write. So uh, all of this is her story, and from here on up, it's his story. <laughs> Also, right on this line, right on that line, is when King Minas of the Upper and Lower Nile cultures married the two cultures into the first nation called Egypt. Right there. And ever since then, there has been this evolution of the concept of nations, borders, terrorists, armies. Law. Law. This whole consciousness was about law. And if you have studied the Hebrew Bible, this 3115 BC date is awfully close to when the Hebrew Bible states Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden and into the consciousness of right and wrong crime and punishment. You see, down here, there wasn't right or wrong. There was just reasons. 
There was reasons for things. There were certainly consequences for your actions. They happened for reasons. But there wasn't a law. There wasn't some guy going to come and beat your head in. You know? It was natural happenstances and natural consequences rather than human-imposed sanctions. That started right there and has evolved to where we are right now. And we'll go into a little bit, just a little bit of detail about, about these different cycles, how they evolved. The next one is called the planetary consciousness. It started in 1755 A.D. Remember your European history? What was happening 1755 A.D.? Ooh, the Industrial Revolution started in Europe. Each one of these days and nights were 19.7 of our years. Okay? Each one of these days and nights. And this whole consciousness cycle from 1755 up to today and into tomorrow is all about one thing. Power. Raw, unmitigated power. This is when we started coming up with machines to do the work of men and animals. The water wheels, and then steam power, and then electrical power, and then internal combustion, and then nuclear, and it has evolved stage by stage by stage. We're on a schedule. This line right here, this line, the beginning of the seventh day, was 1992. What happened in 1992? www.com. The internet went up in 1992 manifesting a planetary consciousness, huh? It is now a global consciousness. And it turned on right there at the very beginning of the seventh day. Either we've got a 16.4 billion year long string of coincidence, or we're on a schedule. The next cycle on that rock is one that we've just recently started. It's called the galactic consciousness cycle. If you think I'm kidding, get over that. Do we have a national consciousness? Are we living as part of that? Do we have a planetary consciousness? The galactic consciousness cycle started January 5th, 1999. And ever since then, we've been finding lots more out about our galaxy, haven't we? We're now finding other planets around other stars. We've now mapped our entire galaxy. We now know the density of the center of the galaxy. We have discovered the black hole in the center. We're finding out a lot more, much, much quicker than ever before. <clears throat> and these days and nights, each day and each night lasts for 360 days. Hmm. I saw some light bulbs go on out there. 